This is the first of three sequels I didn't even know about to 1998's Wild Things. This is Wild Things 2. I'm Jay Harang and I've wasted hours of my life watching terrible films. You should subscribe. This is Brittany and she's the main character. Hi. She goes to Blue Bay High School and today there's an assembly. This is Maya and she's from the wrong side of the tracks. She's been so badly behaved that the principal is making her work on the school paper. What? In today's assembly, they've brought in Detective Morrison to tell the kids about the dangers of partying. If you party too hard, we're the people you're gonna meet. Kid gets a hold of some alcohol, maybe some drugs, and that's where the coroner, Dr. Haynes, comes in. That's right, kids. Don't bother having any fun or you will die. Really? No. To hammer this point home, Detective Morrison has brought the coroner along to speak. But the kids don't want to hear this, so they start throwing balls and paper aeroplanes around. The principal's like, I'm sorry, Detective, the kids can't concentrate today because there's an important volleyball game later. They love their volleyball here at Blue Bay. Can't think why. And here's why. It's beach volleyball. Yes, of course. So all the kids run down to the beach to watch the game. You're probably thinking that because of the assembly, this is a story about teenagers partying too hard. Yes. Well, it isn't. That assembly was totally pointless. Oh. As is this volleyball game that goes on and on and on. Blue Bay wins and Britney's the hero, so it's a party at her house. The party is getting a bit much for Britney, and the shit really hits the fan when she sees this. Whoa, what are you doing? That's her dead mother's portrait, you dumbass. <laughs> So Brittany goes up to her room and stares at a photo of her dead mum. But hang on, who's this? Yeah. 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 Maya goes up to Brittany's room, and it's here we find out that Brittany used to be poor, just like Maya, until Brittany's mum married her rich stepdad, Niles Dunlap. You can take the girl out of the trailer park. You can't take the trailer park out of the girl. Niles has come home early. He's furious and tells everyone to get out of his house now. You, you can stay. He's a creep. That's trash. Like mother, like daughter. So Britney's stepdad seems nice. That night, Britney is woken by a nightmare about the time her mum drove her car into a swamp. I assume we're supposed to think this killed her? Yes. Anyway, when she wakes up, she sees her stepdad getting threatened outside on the CCTV. She's like, Niles, who was that? And he's like, none of your business. I'm leaving tomorrow. I don't want any more parties while I'm away. You can trust me, Dad. Stepdad. God, that's gotta hurt. So the next day, Niles sets off for wherever he's going. But oh no, there's a problem with the plane. But let's not worry about that. Let's watch Brittany and her friends shower on the beach in slow motion. Like this guy's doing. That's the guy who threatened Niles at the house last night. Britt, Principal's looking for you. There's been an accident. That's right, Niles is dead. Oh no! This is Terence. He's an insurance investigator. Detective Morrison tells him to piss off because this was just a normal plane crash. Looks like swamp rats. You ever hear of a rat running into a burning airplane? So Detective Morrison goes to question Brittany just as she's getting out of the pool. Good. We found rats in the fuselage of Niles' airplane. Looks like maybe somebody put them there on purpose. He asks her if she knows anyone who may have had a grudge against her stepdad. She's like, oh, not really. Only the guy who came round the other night and threatened him. The next day, Brittany goes to see her stepdad's lawyers, where she finds out that all she'll get from his estate is $25,000 a year. That's it. Yes, the money is to be given to a blood heir if one can be found. Otherwise, his $70 million fortune will be donated to his favourite country club. What? Meanwhile, Terence is taking the swamp rats found in Niles' plane to an animal hospital. Okay. I'll run some tests. It looks like Niles' country club might lose out, as Maya is claiming that Niles was her biological father. Oh. In other news, frustrated Plot testers. thickens. The judge orders a DNA test, so they're going to have to get Niles' dead body out. So here's the coroner again, Dr. Julian Haynes. When Brittany gets home, the guy who threatened Niles is in her house. Turns out Niles owed him $7 million, and he tells Brittany she's got three days to pay him. Back in court. Dr. Haynes, have you completed the DNA test? Yes, Your Honor. Niles Dunlap is indeed the blood father of Maya King. Wow. So that's it. 
Maya has all of Niall's money. Some good news for Britney though. Police have arrested the guy who threatened her earlier and he's been blamed for Niles' murder. Terence is back at the animal hospital where he's told that traces of expensive wine were found in the swamp rat's stomach. Trendy rat. Oh yeah. So the rats must have come from somewhere with a wine cellar. Are you serious? Yeah. This is ridiculous. This is shit. And oh look, Britney's in Niles' wine cellar now. I need to just kill those fucking things. Oh, so Brittany and Maya were in this together. But how did they fake the DNA test? That's right, the coroner is in on it too. Oh, I see. He's like, this isn't over yet, girls. We need to lay low. This is the last time we're all going to be together before the money's in the bank. And then they bang. The next day, Terence asks Brittany about the swamp rats. She tells him to fuck off, but she's rattled. So at school, she tells Maya. He knows he fucking knows. Don't be so paranoid. And then they bang. Then Terence goes to the coroner and starts asking questions about the DNA test. The coroner's in panic mode, so he goes round to Maya's trailer. I don't think I'm going to get through this. Just think about the 70 million. And this. And then they bang. After they finish, Maya calls Brittany and tells her she thinks Julian the coroner is gonna break. So they're gonna have to kill him. Brittany's like, oh, do we have to? And Maya's like, yes. The next day, Maya gets the check for the 70 million. She calls Brittany and tells her, then reminds her that they still have to kill Julian the coroner. We stick to the plan. So they meet at this boatyard. Maya's like, here's the gun. When Julian comes, kill him. There's a few hiccups, but they manage to kill him in the end. <laughs> then drive his body out to the swamp, as they never found Britney's mum's body out there after a suicide. As they're getting his body out of the car, a police officer comes, so Maya goes off to distract him. But oh no, Julian's still alive. It's okay though, Britney finishes him off with a knife and feeds him to the alligators. How impressive. Terence has gone to Julian's house to see him, but when he's there, he sees Britney bring his car back covered in blood and plants from the swamp. So the next day, he calls Detective Morrison out to the swamp. How would you like a nice little murder case? Murder, huh? Who? Dr. Julian Haynes. But they don't find a body, so Terence ends up looking like an absolute twat. Yep. After the police leave, Terence thinks he may have found something. That night, Maya is going round to Britney's to pick her up, as tonight is the night they're planning to leave town. We can't go. Why not? I'm why not. They ask Terence what he wants, and he's like, I want half the money. Fuck you. He's like, fine, I'll call the police now. Fine. Fuck, fine. Brittany's like, nah, I'm not giving up half my money. So she shoots Maya. You want half the money? Then you earn it. So she makes Terence put Maya's body in the trunk of his car. While they're driving it away, a police car pulls up behind them. So Brittany gets out, calls the police, and tells them Terence's car has a dead body in the trunk. Smart. So Terence is arrested while Brittany flies away to safety. At the police station, Terence sees a news report that says Niles had been stealing funds from his company. He's not dead. Niles Dunlap is not fucking dead. Detective Morrison's like, shut up, Terrence. You had a dead body in your car. But he's right. Niles isn't dead. You got an airboat waiting for us? Yeah, it's all taken care of. So now all they have to do is jump out of the plane. I packed your shit with newspaper! You wouldn't do that to your own father! Stepfather! <laughs> Okay, now Niles is dead. But look who's alive, Brittany's mum. Turns out they've been planning this for over a year. That is an incredible story. And that's the end of the film. So until next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and check out this other video. Thank you.